Transportation Justice is an initiative at WMAPCO where we are examining the inequities that different groups face in the transportation system and then making recommendations to overcome those inequities and burdens that they carry. Transportation justice is about ensuring that everyone is an active member of society. That is what mobility as a right means. It means that people who do not have access to a vehicle can still participate in jobs and civic engagement and school functions and find affordable housing. We examined 13 different factors of, of transportation equity in the TJ report. Uh, one of them looked at crashes that are experienced in low-income and minority communities. We looked at transportation spending within those communities. We looked at traffic levels, bus connectivity, a whole host of different measures. When I saw this, it kind of like validated things that I knew were going on in my neighborhood and that were going on in the city and frankly are going on in the county too. I love the work that we've been doing here in the city of Wilmington that's been focused around making sure that our communities have what they need for bus systems, for biking, for making sure that we have bike racks and different elements that we normally as a community may not think about um, and how it may be an injustice for us not to have it there. Yo soy recién llegada a este país y el medio de transporte para lo que llegamos que no tenemos vehículo y el horario es muy importante uno saber a qué cada hora que un bus pasa So what we found was that our black communities got about 38% less transportation project spending over the past two decades than what we would expect based on their population size. Transportation projects tend to follow development or anticipate development. So that what that tells us is that there just hasn't been much redevelopment or transportation spending within our black communities. We did a public opinion survey in, in 2018 that found that for families making under $25,000 a year, almost half, 47%, had some difficulty getting to activities day to day, whether that's their job or the grocery store or to a park. Everyday elements we don't really think of because if we're not using a vehicle, a lot of times people are like, well, what type of transportation am I using? And so those shifts, it may not seem like they're big deals, but if you don't have a car, you're paying more money, you're spending more time, your 24 hours in a day don't look anything like a person's 24 hours in a day that has good transportation. ¿Cómo llegaríamos nosotros al trabajo? Sería, es muy difícil, muy difícil. El bus es muy importante para nosotros que no tenemos carro propio, como dije. Muy, muy, para llegar sería imposible. If you were sitting at home trying to decide between getting to work and getting on a bus, right? And how much that's gonna cost you on a weekly basis in order to get to your job. Is that gonna take more out of your paycheck to actually get to that job than actually putting food on my table? So that's a tremendous burden. That means that that's money that can't go to better housing, better food, better education. It helps keep people in poverty. So one of our, our main objectives with transportation justice is just to identify the burdens that low-income and minority groups carry, to make recommendations, to overcome those burdens, and then to realize those recommendations. It's incredibly important for transit users to make their voice heard. It's a voice that's often marginalized. Bus riders and transit users do that by talking to their elected officials, by participating in civic organizations and civic meetings, and letting them know why transit is important to them. I think our next levels are to try to get more projects and better projects within our black neighborhoods. We're gonna be proactively reaching out to these communities to develop projects with the communities. And I think another key thing is continuing to study some of the disparities that the report uncovered. Not everyone is able to afford to have a vehicle, one or even two. So it is important for us to make sure that public transportation is available within the city of Wilmington. We are eager to improve your life and transportation conditions in your community. So reach out and get involved. For more information and to get involved, go to willmapco.org.